this is Bruce Kane, Technical Support Engineer from Go Engineer, and today we are going to look at the subject of a solid sweep. Looking at the SolidWorks documentation, a solid sweep is defined as for true to life representation of a cutting tool following a tool path. Okay, what that means is we're going to take one body and use it to cut a path in a secondary body. With that said, the body that is doing the cutting, which is called the tool body, has a couple requirements. First, it has to be a revolve feature or a cylinder, cylindrical extruded feature. It can contain only analytical geometry, meaning lines and arcs, and it is not merged with the model, so it does have to be a separate solid. And second, as you can see on the screen, is the path that it's going to follow must be tangent continuous and must begin at a point on or within the tool body's profile. To best show this I'm going to use the existing SolidWorks sample files that we have already in the system. So let me get them open. Okay what we see here is we have two separate solids, our drill or our drill body and the tool body. The tool body is the cutting tool that will cut into the drill body. Okay, before going any further, we want to examine some of the geometry that we have here. Okay, what we can see is we have this helix spiral. This is the actual path that we are going to use to make the cut. If you look at it, it's just a simple helix that goes along the drill. And as a requirement for any type of a sweep, the sketch for the tool body will need to be in some way associated to the path of the sweep, or in this case the helix. Okay, so let's look at the sketch for the tool part. Let's go ahead and edit that sketch. And what we'll notice if we zoom in here is the sketch of the tool path has this coincident point. That coincident point, which is right here, is a pierce point that is tied to the helix itself. That is a critical step in the process. Make sure that there is a portion on the tool itself that is linked to the path for it to sweep by. Okay, so once we know we have a tool pattern that is following a helix or a path, we can go into swept cut, which is under features, swept cut. We're going to change it instead of sketch profile, which is our normal sweep, we're going to change this to a solid profile. When we change it to solid profile, it's asking for a tool body, which is our solid here. And the path is the helix that we already tied the sketch for the tool path or tool body to use. And we'll leave the selected bodies and auto select on. If you would like, there is a show preview button. That allows you to see quickly how it's going to react. And we'll hit OK. And as you can see, that gives a realistic cut, similar to how an actual machine would cut a, a fluke on a drill bit. Now, if we want to have it a double, we just put a circular pattern. Our cut sweep is already selected. Select our cylinder, change it to equal spacing. And now we have a double fluted drill bit. That's the basics of how you do a swept cut using a solid. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Bruce Kane at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.